Today's modern banknotes have an abundance of security features that make them increasingly difficult to counterfeit and easier than ever to identify fakes. And what's by far my favourite of these features is UV ink. Remember those invisible ink pens you used to play with as a kid? Well, they use that ink on money. So in this video, I'm going to look at some basic examples, right the way up to the creative masterpieces of 21st century banknote design. And if you enjoy it, please consider subscribing. First up, the US dollar. The older style notes, including the $1 and $2 bills, do absolutely nothing at all. But then the newer series display a single vertical stripe. It's an efficient way of keeping the cost down on a mass-produced currency and fits with their clean and classic design. And yeah, it might seem a little boring, but it's better than the Canadian dollars, which do literally nothing under UV light. Even their brand new state-of-the-art vertical note, which is probably my favourite banknote ever released, does literally nothing. Things start to get a bit more interesting with banknotes such as the pound sterling, the New Zealand dollar and the East Caribbean dollar, which all display their denomination in fluorescent numbers. Again, it's pretty basic, but it makes an efficient and effective security feature. The pound sterling in particular features this orange and yellow checkered pattern, which is really quite difficult for criminals to replicate. You'll also notice that with a lot of paper banknotes, they have these random flecks of colour scattered all over their surface. That's something they deliberately put into the paper at the pulp stage, and again, is an extra layer of protection against counterfeiters. Now here's where things get creative. Many banknotes use UV ink to highlight some particular pattern or element of their design. The Indian rupee, for instance, sees Gandhi glow, and on the reverse, the country's architecture comes to life with brilliant colour. On the South African Rand, various patterns and illustrations light up, including these rock carvings by the San, the indigenous people of Southern Africa. And the Euro becomes considerably more interesting too, highlighting stars and emblems on both sides of the notes. One of my favourite juices of UV on banknotes is to illuminate animals, as seen on the new Australian dollars. The $5 sees an eastern spinebill, the $10 a cockatoo, and the $50 a black swan in flight. Similarly, the Philippine peso features an array of ultraviolet animals, such as a palm civet, a tarsia, and a blue-naped parrot. The Norwegian crone also features a native animal, the Atlantic puffin. And finally, we get to the really elaborate banknotes. The Mexican peso is one of my favourites. It highlights various design aspects, but takes it to the extreme, creating these UV masterpieces portraying history, architecture, and nature, including the great migration of the monarch butterfly. The Swiss franc reveals a globe, with the earth rotated slightly differently on each denomination. Now, this set of banknotes still has a few yet to be released, but when complete, the currency will form a sort of UV flipbook, depicting a complete rotation of the earth, how incredibly cool is that? I mean, Canada should really be taking notes right now. And lastly, we reach what's probably my favourite, purely for their intricate design and the sheer variation of colour used, the Hungarian Forint. The 1000 sees the denomination in a vibrant rectangle encircled by flowers, as well as a raven holding a ring. The 2000 is also surrounded by a floral pattern and features an armoured hand holding a sword, whilst the 5000 sees fluorescent gears and cogwheels, and a column of Budapest's chain bridge in orange and green ink. Ultimately, UV ink is just a security feature, with the clear and functional purpose of helping us detect fake notes. But that doesn't mean it can't be creative. Banknotes are something most people use every day, and yet without realising that in the right light, they transform into UV masterpieces.